the future in technology in provision for me is the same as the future in technology for other fields that uh, deals with human nature hospitals and uh, service with people so uh, the future also will be what uh, we are willing to accept about uh, technology because technology uh, the question is not what technology can do for us but uh, what it should do for us so we need to think about what are we willing to receive as a help in our our main job must be to be in contact with human people and deal with human people and technology must alleviate us from other stuff that take us more time so more technology to have more time with the human interaction that's my view, view of the future I see a, a, a lot of benefits uh, coming from artificial intelligence if we are the masters of the technology and not the servants. So it, it's like with the money, eh? we need to master it and not depend on it. Uh, artificial intelligence is everything but intelligent and everything uh, but artificial because it's human people that is behind the artificial intelligence. I have learned how to uh, compute uh, arti artificial intelligence, so uh, now I understand much better how, how it works. And uh, it's, it's the expression of the human humanity in artificial intelligence. That's why uh, in the first years of artificial intelligence, there were artificial intelligence that were racist, biases, because we feed them with information that we as humans, we were biased and uh, racist, so they learn to be li like us. So now, the artificial intelligence, that since five years now, they, we have modules that uh, allow us to detect bias. So the new artificial intelligence can tell, can tell us, tell us hey, it's not normal what you have given me because maybe women have less access to uh, credits for, for houses. We see that in, in, your, in your data, so it's not normal, we don't accept it and we must uh, refeed with something with less bias. That's something that uh, the artificial intelligence will construct, uh, help us to, to, to fight our own demons and our own bias. That's something that was not there at the beginning. Uh, so artificial intelligence can be the best thing or the worst thing. And uh, if we work together, it can be the best thing and give us more time to be real humans and let, as I say, for all technology, uh, let the technology do the slow, the repetitive tasks and the things that uh, we are not the best. The ethics that we need to have when we want to deal with artificial intelligence must be the fight against the bias. Uh, how we make, how we learn, how, how the machine learn about uh, what, how we do our, our work. So we, we must be sure first that we give the right information for the machine. We check if the machine has no biases. And uh, that's the first part, the good learning process. And the second part is uh, never trust blindly artificial intelligence. It's part of the process. You have the information, you have an help. But at the end of the end, the human must be the last one who has the last word to say. That's the biggest uh, thing that I have to say.